Okay, here we are. Getting ready to do a little, a little, uh, riding around here. So here she comes, the new bike. We're riding it for the first time. You won't believe it. So we're coming up here. See if we can make a turn. Then we're gonna go in here. And we'll go right here. <laughs> oh, she rides nice. Rides nice. Time for a little introduction to the bike, so uh, let's step back and uh, give you a nice look at the bike. And there she is. I don't know if it's a mook wheel or a moke wheel. I'll call it moke wheel, I guess, M-O-K, moke wheel. Uh, this one is the Basalt ST, as you can see right there in the name. And uh, let's see. First of all, let's start right in the front here. We have adjustable fork suspension. You can see it on the left and the right, and you can see that my suspension has been working. <laughs> uh, Shimano 7 derailleur, and the Shimano is right there on the side, 7 speed. Derailleur is back here. Uh, has a, well, let me turn it on so you can see it. This uh, button up here turns on the bike and it takes about four seconds to uh, turn the bike on as you'll see in just a second just in four seconds it says hello and the bike is now on and you can see the display this uh, this is to turn the bike on and off and this is to turn the light on and off and I'm going to turn it on now this is for going up and down if you want to uh, do the steps here the pass you have one through five, and uh, this you can go up and down, go one, two, three, four, five. Five is the fastest. You can go the fastest in five. You go the slowest in one. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Nice color display. I really like the color display. The battery that's in here is a Samsung 48 volt, 19.6 amp battery. Pretty stout, I would say. Um, the company says. 60 to 80 miles on a charge. We'll have to check that out. Right now, I couldn't tell you, but it's, the battery seems to be lasting quite a while, so uh, I think the battery's pretty stout. Another feature I don't see in any of these bikes in this price range is this right here. You're able to loosen this right here, and you can bend this forward, or you can bend it back. In other words, you can get, you can get the... Uh, the handlebars uh, just the way you like them and you can move this obviously up and down uh, and you can also loosen these up here and turn the handlebars forward and back but they don't have much give to them so but this is a part that I really really like and I don't see these on any other bikes in this price range there might be some but I don't see them so this is really really a nice uh, feature on this bike the motor is a 48 volt 750 watt brushless motor and I couldn't tell you who the name is, but it works really good. It looks like the motor's newer than the earlier models. If you look over on the back side there, it has um, more venting over there. I think the cooler motor. Weighs about 77 pounds. Speeds up to about 28 miles an hour, but I think you can get 30 out of it. I'm going to give you a little hint a little later on, near the end of the video, on how to get it to go 30 miles an hour. So hang around. Aluminum frame. And look at the weld marks on the aluminum font. I mean, it's so nicely done. I mean, it's, it's almost a work of art. Very, very impressive stuff. Oh, and the tires, uh, very, very interesting. That silver white wall, it looks like, a little skinny white wall, uh, that actually is reflective material so that if you're going um, at night and uh, there's any kind of light around, it will reflect off of that white circle so it gives you another uh, piece of protection when you especially you're out at night more reflectors here on the front and the back wheel down here and uh, the brakes are 
Tektro, Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. And uh, they are hydraulic, in fact, there's a place you put the mineral oil, right there. So you put the mineral oil in. You definitely want hydraulic brakes, you don't want mechanical brakes on a bike like this, it'll go 25 mile an hour or more. So that, uh, oh, the other thing I put on, I added this. This is a, a white light that I have up front. And the reason I like it is because, not because it's straight white light like that. What I really like is I can, this is the flash that, pulsing kind of flash I have. And boy, you can see that doggone thing for miles. You can really, really see it a long way. That plus I have another one. Let me shut this off. I have another one on the back. And this one, you can have the same four combinations. That's the first one, the second one, the third one, which is blinking, and the fourth one, which is sort of a pulsing light. And I'll put a link to these uh, on the website. And uh, you can pick them up at Amazon. They're about 20 bucks for the pair. And they charge up at the rate I'm using these now. They're probably worth 14 hours, 20 hours, I don't know, something. A long time. You won't have to charge these very often, trust me. So uh, that's pretty much, I'm trying to think if there's anything I left out here. I don't think I, ha oh, uh, I told you about the little special item at the end where you can get, get up to 30 miles an hour. Yeah, that's good. Brakes are great. Uh, these grips don't move. The grips are very good. Very, I love these grips. So I'm going to shut the bike off. You know why I'm shutting the bike off? Because here is the throttle right here. The throttle is right here. And... If I were to twist the throttle, I'm going to put my hand on there and I just, a little twisting action. But the bike's apt to bolt forward on you a little bit. And you don't want to do that, even though I think it's on pass zero. So it shouldn't go anywhere, but we'll, we'll test that another time. But the best thing to do is just shut the bike off. And then you're fine. So there you have it. The new Basalt ST by... Moke wheel, mock wheel, take your pick. Uh, I think I'll say moke wheel. I kind of like moke wheel. Great bike. This, this all comes standard here. This comes standard. The other thing, I'm going to take you in now, and I'm going to go on to the computer. Go into their, go, I'm going to take you on their website. There's seven, a little over $700 worth of extras that come with this bike. So when you think about it, if the, if the bike is... Uh, seventeen ninety five, and you get uh, or seventeen ninety nine, and you get seven hundred dollars worth of extras. So you get about eleven hundred. You're only paying about eleven hundred dollars for the bike, and you're getting all these wonderful extras that are going to want here, like a cover for the whole bike, uh, a lock, a helmet, uh, a front basket going that goes up in here, and you can see it's already equipped to to receive it right here. A lot of nice things you're going to get with it. And the big thing is the um, inverter that's going to go right here. And the inverter you can take anywhere you can cook out with it. If you were camping especially, it would barely... 1,000 watt inverter. That's all part of the package. It's a great package. I think this is the best bang for the buck going. But now let's, let's go and take a look at the website. And uh, I'll show you some more over there. It says buy one bike get $703 worth of free accessories, package C. So then it says learn more. I click on learn more, scroll down. Uh, where is option three? So I'm going down here and here is option three. If you are buying one bike from Basalt, Basalt ST or Scorsia, uh, buy one bike and get $703 in eight free accessories. And here are the accessories. A helmet, a front-mounted basket, a bike cover, water bottle holder, bike cable lock, rear view mirror, phone mount, and then this inverter, 1,000 watt inverter, which you can use, you can attach it to the bike and you can carry it with you. And you can use, use it for all sorts of items and things that you want to do. So that's a pretty good deal. So you get $700 on a $1,700 bike, well, $800, say $1,800. Um, you're only paying, what, $1,100 for the bike when you get through. 
and up. And then all of these things you can use. It's not, this is not junky stuff. So that's why one of the reasons I was really impressed uh, with the spike. And um, I kind of think you might be too. And I said before, I don't have any, I don't have any horse in this horse race. I don't have any, there's no dog and pony show here. I don't have any, uh, I'm not getting any kind of kickback or free this or free that. I'm just telling you what my, what I, I'm just telling you what my experience has been in shopping for several weeks. And this is the conclusion that I came to, which I thought was the best deal and the best bang, best bang for the buck. All right, so two little tips I'm gonna give you, and uh, that'll be it. So let me go to the tips I promised you uh, at the end of the video. Now for the bonus, and this has to do with your speedometer and this little uh, set of buttons right here. There were four buttons in a row here, okay? So the first thing we want to do, by the way, I'm going to show you what two buttons do. I'm going to do the bottom two buttons, and I'm going to push and hold these bottom two buttons for about two seconds. And look what comes up. It's another screen. It shows you your maximum speed and some other different. <laughs> Average speed was three miles an hour. You know what happened? I've been setting this bike around and having the screen on with the bike setting, so it, it fudges my numbers quite a bit. Now, there's a third setting you can go into, which are three buttons. If you hold down the, the up arrow, the bottom arrow, and the light button, if you take all three of these and hold them down, you're gonna to go to a new menu called technical menu. Now you can use your up and down arrow, and I'm gonna move up and down like this. And the first thing they want you to do is the intensive, intensity setting. And if I hit the top button, it'll put me into the intensive setting. Now I can use my up and down arrows and I can go, and you want to be set this on the intensity set, intensity setting, you want to set that on five. Now when you, when you get on five, if you hit the bottom button, it doesn't do anything. If you hit the top button, it goes back to the menu. Now, we want to go back up and we want to go to speed limit. And on speed limit, I'm going to hit the bottom button again. Whoop, <laughs> see how I screwed up? Let me do it again. I have to do the three buttons again. And then I go to the speed limit, hit the top button. The speed limit is 25. I don't push that up to 30. In fact, I might go to 35. What the heck? And then if I push the top button again, and then push the bottom button, I'm back. So I've set those two things. The speed limit and the intensity, you're all set. You should be able to do 30 miles an hour, I hope you like this little tip. And if you get a mock wheel, this will be great. All of these, I don't know why they don't make all these standard, but they don't. They're all kind of different. But uh, this is how to do the mock wheel anyway. Hopefully uh, this is helpful to some of you out there and hope to see you again real soon. Now let me tell, I'm just gonna make one more comment. And what I wanna do is I wanna mention the place where I bought this bike. It's called Rumble House 2 Electric Bikes in Edgewater, Florida. It's actually near New Smyrna Beach. If you know where New Smyrna Beach is, you can find uh, Edgewater, Florida. This guy, Gary, who runs the place over there, he took really, really, really good care of me. Gave me the same price that they were advertising on the special on the website, the Mock Wheel website. He put all the, the bike all together, didn't charge me an extra nickel for uh, putting all the bike all together with for me, got it all straightened out, beautiful. Went down there, picked it up the other day, and it's been a great, great, great uh, experience. So many thanks to Gary at Rumble House 2 down in Edgewater, Florida. Great guy, and he's got plenty of bikes. You can go down there. You can rent a bike for the day. There's bike paths all over the place. You can go down there and try the bikes out. He's very, very accommodating. Great guy, and I can't thank him enough. Made my buying experience a really good one. Thanks for watching. 